Okay, well, in the part of the United States where I live, we've been setting records this past week. Records for snowfall amounts and records for cold temperatures. In fact, in the last three days, we got over 60 inches of snow. If you're like me, one of the first things that comes to mind is how are the bees surviving this? How about all that snow that's piled up on the hives? You're looking at an orchard bee house right here that's all in place and ready for the spring. And there's nothing living in it, so we're not worried about that, but we put them out early. And this is basically facing east from my house. We have snow just coming down constantly. And right now it's about 11 degrees, but there are some real cold spots. In every direction, we just see deep snow. In fact, the main city near where I live has declared a state of emergency for the entire past week. And they called out the National Guard. Those guys were out there shoveling snow for people. But that emergency has been lifted, and it's time to get outside and see how the bees are doing. And a lot of people like to walk up to their beehives and knock on them to see if they can hear bees humming. That's not what I do. And I'm going to demonstrate how I check on my bees to see if they're alive without pulling lids and without sweeping the snow off. Just like with this blue spruce tree that's protecting these birds from the weather, snow is an insulator. And that's why when snow piles up on my beehives, I leave it there. Beehive number eight, I've shown this in a lot of videos here. This has my largest colony in it and has more boxes on than I normally leave through winter. And that's because they filled it with honey. So how can we tell looking at this hive if the bees are alive? Do we look for vent holes? Look at these colonies. They are all covered in snow. Now instinctively, some people like to come in and sweep the snow off, but don't do it. Snow is an insulator. And if you think your bees have died, it does not help if you sweep the snow off and pull covers to look inside to see if your bees are dead or alive. If they're dead, they're dead. But if they're alive and you pull the covers off, you expose them to extreme temperatures and you will definitely kill them off. So just look at this blanketed snow area here. Some people knock on the side of the beehive and they listen to hear them hum. That's put the, that puts them into an active state and they start moving air around. The bees are in a state of torpor. They are clustered. And I'm going to show you an instrument that allows me to look at the hive from the outside and see where that cluster is. And any rise in temperature is going to be evidence that the bees are still alive. Now here we are with the thermal imager, the FLIR C2, and uh, look at the hot spot. If you look at the right, it shows the entire range of temperatures out here from minus 0.6 all the way up to 27.3 or 28, and that hot spot right there is the surface temperature of the box, which means that if they're at 28 and 29 on the surface, the interior has a living cluster of bees, and they are keeping themselves warm. Let's look at uh, colony number four here, which has an insulated top cover. It also has that upper vent hole. And the landing board, you can see, is covered with snow. So let's look with the FLIR here. And we can see the cluster is pretty much concentrated in that center box. And you can read a surface temperature of 27 or 28 degrees. And in the range here, it goes all the way down to 1.9 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, not only are the bees alive without touching the colony, but we know that the cluster is basically in the center, which is great because that's where all the honey is. Now we're looking at box number six, which is deeply embedded in snow. And uh, you're looking at a flashing light that's on the upper right there of the box, and that's for predator protection. Now these bees are clustered down low. So you can see that just above the snow line there, they have temperatures that are up into the 20s also. And again, we're not reading interior temperature, we are reading surface temperature of the box. So if these boxes were heavily insulated, this method wouldn't really work. So now box number three. These bees are clustered up near the top, and there is a top vent there. 
And again, this is an insulated cover. We have colonies out that have wooden covers and insulated covers so that we can compare and see how well they make it with each. In my apiary, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to which colonies survive or don't based on covers, but we're just insulating them. Again, you can see this colony is alive. They are concentrated in the upper third there, just under the number two, and they're doing well. Now let's look at my super colony. These are my top performers and they're out here by a Colorado blue spruce tree and you can see that the snow is just loaded and they are anchored to the ground by these straps. So let's pull the flare up here and they're basically in the center. Just above the snow line there you can see the temperatures are hottest and I think they go all the way up to 30 something on the surface. And this these boxes are just chock-a-block with bees. So they're clustered, they're alive, and the surface temperature is higher than the environment. That lets us know that they're alive. And remember, they don't heat the entire interior of the colony, the box. Beehives that are larger are not heated um, throughout. They're just heated in the cluster. And that allows the bees to rotate out to the perimeter of the cluster. So as they get cold, they migrate back into the center and they're replaced. So the bees are insulated by bees. Here again, we're just looking at our landscape here. We have, uh, as I said, set records for snowfall, and we have more coming this weekend. So if you're like me, the first thing that comes to mind when we get these big storm systems is how well the bees are going to make it. And so far, so good. We left lots of honey on these colonies, and I'm looking forward to them making it through to spring and of course I'll give you updates when that uh, time of year comes around and we'll see how they fared. This uh, little shed is where my observation hive is located and they are alive as well. They have two inch rigid foam board insulation on the surfaces of the observation hive and the little vent through the side was not showing much of a temperature increase but uh, I'm confident that those bees are also making it. And there again, this is my orchard bee or mason bee box. We have several of these out this year, and we'll be updating those in spring and showing you how the mason bees come and go. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you will consider not knocking on your beehives and disturbing them to discover if they're dead or alive. Find another method and don't pull covers in the winter time. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.